All right, hello everybody. This is Tech Cut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is going over Ubuntu 8.04. And you may be wondering, why am I looking at such an old version of Ubuntu? And that is because this is the very first Linux distribution that I have ever used. So I figured I'd go ahead and take a little trip down memory lane, check out my very first Linux distribution, and before we get too far into this video, uh, down below, please let me know what your very first distribution of Linux was, and the version number and all that, the year. Uh, this version of Ubuntu came out in 2008. I was in the 8th grade when I used this for the very first time, so it's been a long time since I've actually been on this. I kind of remember what it looks like and all that. At the time, I had no clue what I was doing. I just wanted a free operating system, and the free operating system to get is Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and try this without changing my device or booting into the live disk. I hope this actually works in this virtual machine. Oh my god, that's awesome. Just hearing that noise unlocked memories in my brain that I thought I would never be able to get back out again. Okay, so this is the live disk. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but the obvious up here is these menus. I absolutely love these menus up here. Uh, a lot of the Mate distributions still have this format, but this right here is at the time when I was in eighth grade, why I downloaded it, because I thought the organization of it was super cool. Um, let's see if I could go ahead and change this resolution so it doesn't look so stretched out. Uh, let's go to preferences. Let's go to display or screen resolution. Let's go to oh, 1080p. Yes. Apply. Oh, we got 1080p Ubuntu 8.04. Let's keep these settings. Uh, zero hertz refresh rate, I guess that's gonna have to do. Uh, so let's run through this installer real quick of this old school version of Ubuntu here. All right, so ready to install. Uh, live CD, so yeah, you could fit this version of Ubuntu on a CV CD. It's, um, I think, 630 megabytes or somewhere around there. Uh, if you're interested in downloading old Ubuntu releases, I'll have a link in the description. <laughs> Okay, so let's go uh, English, uh, and then we have our time zones here. So it looks like we got this cool little animation, and I can click on these specific cities. Uh, like I said, I've used this before, but I don't remember it enough. And we're zoomed way out. Okay, so... Oh, that's trippy. Okay, that's weird. And then you click on the individual cities, and you move your mouse over to scroll along the map. Okay, forward, uh, US, US, forward, uh, guided, you could do manual, I'm just going to do the entire disk. So as you can see, other than the uh, GUI components and how the overall UI works, there are really no changes in the uh, actual installation steps of this. Alright, so now we're going to go with Ubuntu. We're just going to call it Ubuntu. Let's go forward. And here is a little rundown of our installation. Uh, this will destroy any data on your drive. Beautiful. Uh, let's just go ahead and install it. Nice. I love this old GNOME. Is this uh, GTK2? I'm not sure. While this installs, let's go under uh, About Ubuntu. Okay, so this is just the help. Does this give us like the version number or anything? Nope. Okay, so let's go System. Uh, about GNOME, maybe. Okay, so it gives us the GNOME version. This is GNOME version 2.22, and GNOME 40 just recently dropped, so that lets you know. Uh, the build date of this ISO, or what I've installed is, uh, or in the process of installing, is July 9th of 2008. And I do think I tried this out in the winter time, so it was probably on winter break during school in December. <laughs> So let's go ahead and close this out. Uh, system, uh, system monitor. Let's see if we can get this opened up. Oh, installation complete. We'll do that when we get back. Let's go ahead and restart our system. Nope. Oh. <laughs> yep, that noise is familiar as well. So let's go ahead and type in my username. Make sure that's not going to show up. Type in my password. All right. And. <laughs> oh, we have software updates available. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is. SSL cert. 
we're gonna we'll do that in a little bit we'll, we'll try to upgrade our system but before we do that let's just run through the system real quick and check out what it comes with uh, down here we have our little uh, let, let's open our file browser so let's go places into our home folder and here you can see our workspaces so we can switch in between our workspaces we have all of our files and everything we got the little gnome logo here if I go help and I go about this is rocking at Nautilus 2.22 copyright 1999 through 2011 uh, okay let's go ahead and close that out uh, one thing I wanted to do is open up the where is it system monitor and we are using a staggering at 234 megabytes of RAM of the four gigs I allotted to the system now that's cool because I remember the computer that I had this on uh, originally had Windows XP on it. It was some old Dell. I don't even remember the specific model, but it had 200, well, no, it had 512 megabytes of RAM, I believe. And I remember when I was running XP on it, it was hitting like 400. And when I installed Ubuntu on it and it was running about 230, I was like, yes, and it was just a good experience. And I remember at the time too, I needed Microsoft Office for school. And that's when I discovered Wine and all that. And I, um, uh, I was, I'm pretty sure I was able to install a, a Microsoft Office 2003 through Wine on this version of Ubuntu, so that was cool. So let, let's go ahead and start with applications. Accessories, we have our calculator, our dictionary, uh, our terminal. Let's see our terminal here. What do we got cooking? Uh, so this just looks like your standard, super old school GNOME terminal. Yep, a termula terminal emulator for the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, let's see if I can install something because I'm pretty sure I'm connected to the internet. So if I ping techhut.tv, I am indeed pinging it. So let's get out of there. Uh, sudo apt, I think it's apt to get install neofetch. Uh, this probably this isn't going to work. Nope, couldn't find neofetch. Huh. Let's do apt-get update and see if that even works at all. Oh, it failed to fetch everything. Uh, this is an LTS release, but this is far past when the support for even this long-term support release ex uh, expired. So it's probably not going to work, at least trying to pull things from repositories. Okay, so back to applications. We saw our terminal. We have our text editor, which honestly is a pretty rock-solid text editor here. You have tabs, new, open. I know compared to Microsoft Notepad, this was absolutely outstanding to me. Uh, okay, so we have the Disk Usage Analyzer, which is a cool tool. I'm not sure if it comes with something like that anymore, or Ubuntu doesn't. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but um, that's cool. So let's move on. We have games. It came with a good amount of games. More games than what comes with any Linux distribution that I know of today, personally, at least any mainstream ones. Uh, so we have like a gnome Tetris here. Let's, let's try to do it. Let's game new and see if I can, how do you flip them? Oh no, that's not how you flip them. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Enough playing around here. Let's, let's check out what other games they got. Um, okay. So they have black, so that's cool. Like it comes with blackjack out of the gate. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. Eleven. <laughs> yes I'm whenever I'm doing anything like that if you win you walk away because then you go away a winner uh, okay and they have a lot of other games uh, you see nibbles uh, Sudoku mines all kinds of stuff um, a bunch of cool little mini games that you have on your PC chess even out of the gate under graphics don't worry they have the gimp image editor uh, looks like they have some tips here, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the tips. Uh, drag this over here. I remember when all this was separate like this, too. That's so cool. Uh, file. New. That's okay. Man, this is cool. I used to make uh, Minecraft skins using GIMP on Ubuntu. Uh, not this Ubuntu, but when, like, probably five or six years later or so, uh, that was the thing I would do. Uh, we have... Uh, the open office drawing under internet we have uh, whatever that is I'm not sure what this is uh, the following will help you set up answer a few questions 
Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I think it said some... Oh yeah, it's a thing to connect to your smartphone apparently, so that's cool. Let's get out of there. Um, we have Firefox web browser. Let's see what version of Firefox they are rocking. Uh, okay. Okay. Help about Firefox version 3. Beautiful. Welcome to Ubuntu 8.4 LTS. Wonderful. Okay. Close that out. Close that out. Uh, under internet, let's see. They got uh, transmission BitTorrent client. Uh, remote desktop viewer. Under office, it's the openoffice.org stuff. And then sound and video. They have a movie player. Uh, rhythm box. And a couple disk burning tools. Uh, right here, add remove. This is their uh, GUI package manager. So... Um, it's out of date, and if I reload it, it's going to give me the same error it gave me earlier. Or at least I think it will. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting errors here. But based on what is loaded by default, if I uh, go through here real quick, this is kind of cool. Under all, you can see all the different applications they have. And you just go ahead and check an application, hit apply, and you get the application. So that's super, super cool. You can see they have uh, other web browsers. Um, gnome partition editor and i'm pretty sure this isn't going to work so if i enable yeah i think we're frozen here so i'm just going to go ahead and close that out and let's go over to system so under system preferences we do have a bunch of different things here uh, i'm primarily going to focus on appearance so we can kind of see what changes we have to make <clears throat> so we have the good old high contrast stuff we have human for which is our current default theme in ubuntu 8. Ooh, we have crux or Cru i think it's crux Let's go ahead and just apply this. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it just instantly did it. Okay. So yeah, that's super old school look. And if I go uh, places, you can see all my new icons there. Uh, home folder. Yeah, this is, this looks dirt old. But let's go back to human. At least human kind of looks okay. Uh, well, human clear looks, is that any different? The buttons are a little bit different. I almost like this one a little bit better. Uh, background, let's see some of the backgrounds that came with this. This is a beautiful little background, but you can also go with this one. Just straight up brown, or this one. Let's stick with this one. Uh, if we go over here to visual effects, this is another reason why I installed Ubuntu. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to do exactly what I'm thinking of, but it's when you grab it and the windows kind of wiggle around. Coming from XP, that was super cool. Granted, oh, that sucks. I'll try normal too. Uh, granted, I did know, or uh, Vista was just released around this time as well, but my computer could not run Vista. Oh, could not be enabled. Sad day. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that it like did the thing where it wiggled around. And um, I remember there's another extension or application or whatever that with the workspaces, it would like zoom out into a cube and rotate and go in. It's silly, it wastes time, it's a waste of resources, but it was just so cool. So let's close out of here, go to system preferences, see if there's anything else worth uh, looking at. Uh, power management, uh, you have your Palm OS devices, you could go ahead and connect. Uh, remote desktop, preferred applications, uh, your screen savers, let's see if they, what screen savers they have on here. <laughs> okay, that's cool, yeah. Screen savers are kind of silly, like especially something like this, like why would you want this running? But like, I wonder if they have the one that, like some of these I remember, especially when I was younger, I would just sit here and watch my grandma's computer forever, thinking that something was eventually gonna happen, but it never did. <laughs> Things like this were just really cool. Okay, oh, they have a little floating Ubuntu. Oh, that's so cool, okay. Uh, preferences, uh, screensaver, sessions, windows, uh, let's see, select window. Okay, so let's just general windows or window preferences. And then you have administration, so your hardware drivers, uh, apt stuff, networking, login window. So we are using the runx script client, which is the default session. You could switch it to a, a straight up terminal too if you want to. Let's go out of there, go to system, administration. And there's not really much else. Um, I wish the About Ubuntu gave me like my system information. I'm gonna open up the system monitor one more time. System monitor here, you can see the process is running and 
Oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for. Okay, we are running the Linux kernel 2.6. It's uh, release 8.4 Hardy, running GNOME 2.22, and you can see the specs. This is currently running a Ryzen 73700X. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. File systems, you can see our file system here is ext3 instead of ext4. Uh, but yeah, that is really about it. Uh, we'll, we'll look at some of this UI up here real quick. If I hit this, it just gives me an option for the user. Uh, these are our notifications. So these are our updates that are currently seem to be available. Click this, you have your very basic volume control. This is your network stuff, wired network. This is that phone thing that we almost set up earlier. And then we have our calendar. And then last but not least, we could go ahead and shut off our screen this way, or just simply log out. And yeah, that is about it. Again, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you for taking a look at this super old school version of Ubuntu. My very first uh, version of Ubuntu that I ever used, or very first Linux distribution I ever used. Again, please leave a comment down below letting me know what your very first one was. Uh, it's always interesting to find out whether if it was something that came out a year ago, maybe even your first Linux or Unix system was something you ran in the 80s. Who knows? Uh, please leave that down below. Please like this video if you did. Uh, subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss future content like this. With that said, have a beautiful day and goodbye. Oh, and goodbye.